we're glad you're here and we hope you find uh, the same blessings and the same grace that the people that call St. James home have for over 200 years. My passion uh, is with the youth. I really, really enjoy working with teenagers and um, it was through the teenagers that I think I got more involved with St. James than I had ever been before. Everyone thinks, oh, you have to have a certain skill to go on the missions trip. No, your skill set is come with an open heart and be a part of the trip and it will change you. I'm a youth group leader here this year. Me and my friend Sammy Norton, she actually was the one who brought me into the group because I'm not originally from this church. She just came to me and was like, we have this youth group at St. James, it's so great, there's so many kids here, we go on mission trips, we help the community, it's so fun. I didn't come from that Episcopalian background, so I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna fit in here, I don't know, like, it, what if I don't understand what they're talking about, or what if I just, what if they don't like me, or something like that. I really liked how even on my first meeting, everyone wanted to know my name, my story, they wanted to talk to me, and it's just, it's become such a family thing for me, and I love that about it. This is also my family, my church family, and, and I feel very close. I know that uh, when I need anything, these wonderful people are there for me. I found St. James had heard great things about it, you know, especially through their work with, with uh, kids and through the school. And, um, and I, I kind of found the same thing, you know, people who, who sought knowledge uh, very, very strongly, but at the same time were, were welcoming and compassionate and uh, the way it seems like Christianity should, should work. We have access to literally thousands of years worth of music. We'll do a Bach chorale for the prelude. We'll do Tizé or something slightly contemporary for communion. Um, each time with, with the hope of, of speaking to everybody in the congregation and not ostracizing anybody or making them un feel uncomfortable by its music that's unapproachable. Always being approachable is my goal. It felt like home when I was here. I felt like Father Ben was talking to me directly. Just everything that he said, his sermons. I just had this instant connection with the church. I like going to communion because it makes me feel like I, it makes me feel connected with God when they tell me about what I'm doing, like I'm eating his, I'm, it's his body and his blood. When you sit in church, it's very apparent who has children, and it's very apparent who has boys. And I have been amazed at not only the fact that nobody has ever, I guess, called me out on my children, but how many, especially older couples, have come up to me to tell me how much they love having the boys there, which I think is a truly special trait <laughs> and says a lot about the congregation and how they feel about the people who come to worship. There's those Sundays where it just washes over you that something has been spilled out, uh, so fully offered, so lovingly given for you that, uh, uh, that you can't help but make your life a response to it. One of the uh, ministries that Father Ben's encouraged me to, to be involved in is a women's ministry. We meet together on Tuesday mornings, just inviting women to, to participate as they, they contemplate their faith and what difference it makes to their lives as they think about how their faith has impacted their lives over the years. And it's a, an opportunity for us to, to share and talk together and to grow and to laugh and uh, sometimes have the odd tear and also enjoy snacks together. <laughs> you have to remember this church has been here for a long, long time. The, the building, uh, has been occupied since 1912. That's many, many congregations. So there's lots of tradition with this church and I think my wife and I have just um, enjoyed being part of it. As the largest mission and ministry of the church, the school has been able to flourish over the last seven years because the church has put so much time and effort into seeing the, the preschool that had been here for over 30 years truly become an Episcopal school. There's a lot of things that we do here at St. James that, uh, that I think make a difference, but my uh, hope is, is that that's at the forefront of people's thought, that uh, our, our faith is not just uh, something to make us feel better on Sunday morning, but about what we can contribute to the world. Come give us a try, listen to what Father Ben has to say from the pulpit, see what kind of people show up on a regular basis, give it a couple of Sundays, we would feel pretty confident telling you you'd feel comfortable here no matter whether you have no kids, young kids, or old kids.